What's up guys and welcome to another video in Wild Kinetics. My name is Elam and this is part two of building uh, your PVC bike. If you haven't already, don't forget to drop a massive like on this video, subscribe to the channel down below in order for me to keep posting more videos like this and comment down below what you thought of the video and if you guys have any other video suggestions on videos that I can do in the future and share this with your friends and family. Now let's get into it. So right behind me is the PVC bike frame from the last video where I did uh, the first PVC bike frame. Uh, you guys should uh, check out the first video where I go more into depth about the entire assembly. So, so far I have glued the fork and part of this frame. I didn't glue down this part, this T connector because I'm debating about whether I should put a cross to put uh, pedals here to uh, pedal with the bike. What modifications did I do on this uh, frame? So, if you can't tell, it's much, much wider now. Reasoning behind this is because I wanted to put some really wide wheels, not just regular bike wheels, and with that, I'm going to be using inflatable pull uh, tubes as my bike wheels. You might be thinking, well, that's probably not gonna work, and you may be right, but there's only one way to figure out, and that's by trying it. So, I've experimented a little bit, so I'm just going to show you guys basically also how to build the hub for the wheels and how the wheels are attached. Additional modifications are that here previously I had drilled a hole and then inserted a bolt through here. I did away with that and instead I added a T connector and a 45 degree elbow right here uh, which connected both pieces and made it much much sturdier and then to attach my wheel I added two T connectors here with these uh, one inch tubes which were sanded in order to accommodate a three fourths inch tube right here. So this is what we're gonna be using as our axle for the wheels. As you can tell right here, um, that's what we're gonna be using. Now I'm going to show you guys how to build the hub for the wheels. Now that I have both my tires, it's time to put them on the bike. I used uh, about 24 inch by 3 fourths of an inch PVC pipe, which will go right through these T connectors, these 1 inch T connectors uh, in the bike and will fit on. I use basically 1 inch tubes um, for like, sort of like bushings, so that way it'll fit through and it won't wiggle around. I ha although I have to sand out the insides because the uh, poles wouldn't slide through all the way. This may or may not be the most annoying part of um, building the bike because you're going to have to kind of force it in through because the hole is barely wide enough for this thing to fit through so you have to force it through and then um, and that way it can stick so when the wheel moves the uh, pole also moves which we can use for attaching your chain or some other system later on. So now let's attach the wheels.
here is what the bike should uh, look like so far. So, um, you know, I attached both tires on. I glued a little bit of it, not too much of it. But, I mean, it looks all right. This thing is decently massive. Like, I'm about 5'9", 5'10", or so. And this is the size of the bike. Um, again, these are 31 inch uh, pull tubes, just to give you an idea of how big the tires are. Uh, this thing from front to back is about, I'd say give or take six or seven feet uh, long. So this bike is really, really big, you know? So, I mean, I hope, I really do hope this works, but this is what the bike looks like so far. Now, you may think this may work or you may think this may not work. Well, there's only one way to figure out. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put my weight on this bike and then you're gonna see how this bike uh, doesn't work or won't hold me up and where we can fix that. So I'm just gonna pretend like I'm riding it right here and put my weight down. So for starters, this bottom part here is weak. It needs to be reinforced. I'm probably gonna go to work on that or maybe replace this with a cross connector for later for next video. The biggest problem I have though is the fork. The fork bends so easily because the only thing holding it in place is super glue. And if you think about it, you have like a little tiny piece of super glue holding up 145 pounds. So this fork bends like this. It starts bending forward like that. So I need it to stay straight. I'm gonna try and figure out how to do a modification where it involves uh, using these handlebars to reinforce uh, the uh, fork. But if you did everything properly, this is what the bike should look like right here. So um, I'm probably gonna make a follow-up video on the modifications that I did and maybe you'll actually see it working this time. All right. I hope you guys enjoyed this video and certainly don't forget to check out all my other videos, especially the ones, the first one that I did on building the uh, Just The Bike frame itself. Drop a massive like on this video, subscribe to the channel down below if you haven't already in order for me to keep posting more videos and comment down below what you thought of the video and if you guys have any other video suggestions or ideas that I can do in the future. I appreciate you guys for all your support and as always, thank you for watching. See you next time.